Hi friends, this is Leslie Ann Stoffel at Leslie Ann Stoffel on Facebook, Real Clear Israel on Facebook, and at Real Clear Israel on Twitter. Um, my my uh, webpage is therealclearisrael.org, and you can find all my blogs and media under Articles, Blogs, and Media. Uh, there I write for a few different um, blogs. The um, Jerusalem Post is really cool, United with Israel, different ones you can find in there, Politics. Um, anyway, so I just want to start making a blog because so many things pass my desk and I don't feel like I make an impact with my opinion enough. So I'm just going to start making these video blogs. So anyway, here we go. Um, the I call it Real Clear Israel because Israel is real. Um, not only historically, culturally, biblically, um, but also legally through uh, the San Remo Resolution, which was ratified by the United, uh, by the League of Nations and then the United Nations. So I'm going to post the link to the blog that I wrote about that on the Jewish Press. Also, um, I feel that, I think that, um, the Western world is starting to identify more with Israel in the sense that um, with global Islamic Jihad. Like in Israel, it's called Hamas, the PLO, the PFLP, the PA, and really it's just global Islamic Jihad. Um, it has different names all over the world, the IS, Boko Haram, you know, Al Qaeda, whatever. They change names just to confuse people, but it's just the global Islamic Jihad. So that's another reason why I call my blog Real Clear Israel. Um, a couple of things that have come by my desk today are the, um, one is the uh, President Obama spoke at a conservative synagogue and basically said that he had uh, Israel's back and the Jewish people's back and whatever, security-wise. And I would beg to differ because I would say that if he did, he wouldn't be allowing the Islamic State to metastasize all over the Middle East. And uh, he also wouldn't be allowing Iran to get the bomb and gain hegemony in the Middle East. This is very, very dangerous for Israel and for the Arab countries and for the world in general. Um, I also would like to bring up uh, something that happened in Canada. I agree very much with what um, uh, Prime Minister Harper says and does in a lot of cases, but not in this. He has stopped uh, some people from going to the Islamic State to fight. So. What are we now? Uh, babysitters for jihadists? We're going to rain on their beheading parade? Uh, I don't think so. Let them go. Take away their passports. Revoke their citizenship. Don't let them back here to Canada or to any Western country. And then think of a strategy to help the people that they're attacking over there. You know, th it just seems like a no-brainer to me. But whatever. Um, so this is my first real, you know, commentary video blog. Hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Thanks.